right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another 6 p.m. epi. First time in a while I'm this late to the point where I gotta freaking start the epi uh, as I'm walking in. But anyways, welcome back to another 6 p.m. epi. It is Wednesday. It's a brand new team of the week. There it is. Where is he? Is he in there? Yes, it's a spoiler, but I don't care. We got another lead special, boys. Stuart Dallas. They better have given him a five-star weak foot. Oh my God, that 92 Conte. Okay, this is a good team of the week, boys. Foden! We got a new Foden as well! I need to get him too. Oh my god, this is actually a good team of the week. Ooh, hold on. Everybody relax. What do you think? I'm I'm overselling this? Shut up, you stupid dumbs. Uh view squad. Come come. Oh man. Okay, so boys, in terms of what we want and need from the new team of the week, this is number one. Oh my god, he's going to be my Prem right back for the rest of the game. He's going to be my Prem right back for the rest of the game, and you're going to shut your damn mouth is what you're going to do. We're going to give him a Shadow? Did they give him a 5-star weak foot? They gave him a 4-star weak foot? Wait, did, I think he already has a 4-star weak foot. They, I just don't know why they don't do that. Like, he scored a gorgeous goal with his weak foot. How do they not just give him that 5-star weak foot? I still think the Team of the Weeks are really disappointing because of stuff like that, man. And I'm sure if you're a fan of of West Ham or of Brighton or of Villarreal or wh whatever, right? I'm sure you've had that happen when your players get a special card. And you're like, man, you know, Adnan Yanazai's got the special card. He scored three long shots. Why is his long shots 80? It's the same thing over and over again. It feels like they keep telling us they're going to make the Team of the Weeks upgrades make sense based off of their actual performances but it never seems to actually uh come true so it is what it is not a big deal it's all good i'm just happy that we finally got another lead special card we failed getting junior furpo's one to watch we failed getting rafinha's in form at least now we have a chance at getting uh Stuart dallas it sucks because he won't get a dynamic image but whatever it's okay i'll uh i'll still take that and he'll be our right back in the prem setup and i think in weekend league too I think we're gonna use them in weekend league because why the hell wouldn't we do that uh like i mentioned though i i why wouldn't i want to get this foden I, foden is still the best left left footed attacker i have in my club he's 10 times better than player of the month Sala. he's 10 times better than riyad mares he's better than everybody i wasn't lucky enough to get the uh winter wild card sterling who's left footed who i really wanted so foden is still the left footed player in my prem team i i, I love him um so i would absolutely like to finally upgrade to his 87 it's not that impressive of an upgrade if you really look at him compared to his 86 but still something to look forward to while we wait for team of the year to come out Conte the cutie is amazing obviously everybody would want to pack him I love it Tebow's winter wild card he's probably my favorite DM in the entire game so I don't really care if I don't get this Conte I mean obviously we'll be very happy if we do if we get him in red picks or what have you but I'm telling you right now, if I get a red Conte and a red Stuart Dallas, I'm going for Stuart Dallas. I am. And I'll fight every single one of you guys right in your nuts. Um, now, moving on. Is there anybody else to be excited about here? Like, Sanchez looks okay, but eh, whatever. Don't really care. Correa has a better card as it is, but that is kind of a not bad card. Uh, ever. Who cares? Yeah, there's, there's really nothing else that special. So anyways, for me, as a Leeds fan, very excited about that Stuart Dallas, as you would imagine. We also should have a new Silver Lounge today. So here we go, Silver Stars. Ooh. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's a Bundesliga player too, obviously, right? That's so cool. I think this guy might get into my Bundesliga team. My actual Bundesliga team. We've got a Bundesliga, we have a Silver Cam. How do we have this dude now? So we definitely will be able to fit them into the setup. I'm going to unlock him today for Stoner RTG, twitch.tv slash nick 20 Of course, if you want to watch that grind, we're opening tons of packs, trying to pack, well, Headliner Virgil specifically. That's not working. Now we're going to be ripping packs on the Twitch channel, trying to pack Stuart Dallas as well. But I like that too, man. And the best part is, if he manages to get an inform as a defender, if he if, is he a real, is he a center back or did they convert him to a center back? Anyways, the likelihood he gets an inform anyways is non-existent. So now you got to hope that this team can win four games, which is probably also not going to happen. But hey, you never know, right? It's still a cool card. So we're going to unlock him today. Anything added here? We did the, um, the icon swaps as well. Got that all finished up. I might as well just claim and complete that while we're here. 
So we have just the squad battle, I think, to do. Squad battles left, and then we're good to go. Everything else is locked up. Did they add anything? Nope. So no, I, I could care less, unless it's, like I say, if, if if the Prem is a leads player, then of course, yeah, I'm going to lose my mind and get that guy in, in Manager Masterpiece. But that's the only real thing. A Canadian or a leads player, really. I think it's the only thing that's going to convince me to go into managerial shite piece. Managerial hell. Um, Yeah, there's not... Okay, so in terms of objectives, the server lounge player is the thing that's gotten added. I would love to see repeatable icon SPCs. I don't think we're going to get it. Then Rama. Oh my. Well, if Bez is still playing FUD, he's excited about that. That's for sure. Damn, this Ben Rama looks good, dude. Four star four. Damn, this Ben Rama looks good. I have way too many awesome players in the Prem. I have to do this Ben Rama, though. We just crafted uh, Edward. So I think we're going to use Ben Rama and Edward for Thursday's uh, games in Rivals. See how they play for us. Definitely going to. Uh, dude, he. I mean, he's like the perfect wide, wide attacker for me. He really is. And then the fact that he can be upgradable through the year is also fantastic. I like that. Good. Very nice player. We'll be crafting him. The Jean-Franco Zola has been put on the back burner for now. I know a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm not doing this This Julian Brand. I've said it a few times, but I just could care less about this guy. I, I know that's maybe even slightly toxic to say, but I just, I don't need him at all. Like anywhere. He doesn't fit into any of my teams. He's clunky. I just, I just could care less. So I won't be worrying about him. Uh, the draft token pack is a ripoff. So we're not doing that. That was uh, released yesterday, right? The 81 pluses were slow crafting. Did we miss anything else, boys? Anything else at all? I'm kind of tempted to open a couple of Team of the Week packs. Do we do it for the Epi today, I wonder? For the for the, uh, for the the 6 p.m. Epi? Hmm. Do we do it for the 6 p.m. Epi? That's it, huh? Is there? Did I miss anything? There's stuff in the store? Is there stuff in the store? What do they add in the store? What is in the store? Uh, oh yeah, I've got a preview I gotta claim. That's a good point. We're up to 725 packs for Project Team of the Year. What the hell? Oh, they brought back preview packs for the big ones! Yo, that's sick! Oh my god, RIP the market even more, man. Okay, so my 25k preview is... Dear god. An 83 rated Asenio. That is every single FUD account getting a preview. That's impressive. That that's that's gonna have an interesting effect on the market. That, you get fifteen previews. I'm mean, well, if you risk it and open it. Wow, I wonder how that will convince people to spend FIFA points or their coins on this. That's very interesting. I might open five of these previews just to see if it's even worth anybody's time. The first one was terrible. Um. No! I had an inform here and I forgot to claim it because I wanted to show up for the 6 p.m. epi, but I'm an idiot. Oh, no! All right, we'll do another one. Oh, oh there you go. That's an L. <laughs> that is an L. It's always Eric Bailly, man. It really is. Navy blue. Um, Can you compare prices? Okay, so that's 800. That might actually be worthwhile opening. No, probably still not. That's too bad. All right, we'll try our luck on the silvers. League SBC non rares will be discard. Fantastic. It means we can just grind and grind and grind. I love it. Oh, that's an L. Oh, wow. That is probably the worst silver pack preview pack I've opened this entire year. Jeez. All right. So, do we open 25k previews or... Yeah, let's do it. How do I, what do I do here? Buy pack. There it is. We'll do five of these, all right, boys? So the first preview was, was awful, but whatever. It's just the way it is, isn't it? I've got a lot of stuff on the trade pile. There we go, down to 51 items. Um, I guess I have to discard it. What did I have on the trade pile? Was that all just the BPM that we did this morning? Okay. Uh, Second preview. Terrible, so not even a walkout. Okay, but as mentioned, uh, we will open it. Okay, so 50k spent there. The two previews, nothing good. 
You can go. It's okay. I, I count it as a way to just lazily restock the club. It's no problem. Number three. Board, but I mean, no boards really are worth anything. There you go. 83 rated Morata. Dear Lord. Um, all right. That's a straight discard. I mean, this is basically just going to be a waste of 125k, but that's fine. All of this will be discard, so we'll just let it go. Come on. Can I get a Stuart Dallas right here, right now? Preview number four. Boards again. Ginter, right? Okay. I mean, in real life, if you get yourself a uh, uh, Rudiger, you'd be super happy. I I'm pretty sure everyone is trying to steal him away from Chelsea. But for me specifically, that's awful because I think he's worth like 3k max. Right? Uh, so we'll do that. I, I honestly do not think he's even worth that. Get rid of all of it. Okay, we'll finish up with a um, one more 25k, and then I am going to open a inform pack too to end off the uh, the 6 p.m. epi just to see if we can get a Stuart Dallas. I mean, who knows? Maybe we get a Conte too, and it'll be tradable. Oh! 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 What a preview! Nice. The crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure Lewandowski isn't worth anything, but whatever. 92 rated Lewandowski from a preview pack. R.I.P. the market, man. Think of how many millions of people are opening these for free, and then they're only completing it if it's a even remotely good pack. So, this is going to kill the market even more right before Team of the Year. 100%. Hmm. Or do we just stare at it, guys? What do you think? Nah, I, I gotta open it. I gotta go for it. He's like 3k? Yeah, th that probably doesn't even pay for two 25k packs, does it, boys? Uh, compare price. No, it does. It does. But the craziest thing, he's the cheapest 92 on the market. So again, I'm just going to store him. But that does pay. Almost pays for three 25Ks. So, um, yeah, that's not that's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So I'll take that. 25K pack method. No, no, God, no. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Just open your one preview and be done with it, okay? That's all, that's all you should be doing. Right. Let's get a inform pack to finish off the day's grind. You can preview another? Yeah, I could. I could. I could, and I will. I kind of forgot, I'm not going to lie. So if I go to the store, I go to packs, I go to promo packs, we'll just do this. Preview from the web app. Maybe we'll get even luckier. Damn it! No. Do not want. Do not want. Okay, so... um. There it is. All right, well, we're going to do one of these. All right, boys? All we want is a Stuart Dallas. Please, God, to finish off the epi. Thank you so much for watching. Twitch.tv slash nick 20 I'm probably going to open all of these, by the way, and then all the other packs that we have to open today. So hopefully uh, we have a good grind. And then on Twitch, me and Nep are going to be playing Escape from Tarkov. For me, at least, it's been about five, six months since I've touched Tarkov, and it's been a new wipe, so I'm really excited to play that game. It's basically the Demon Souls of BRs and Shooters. It's like the division on ultra hard mixed with demon souls mixed with like a war zone shooting vibe like with all real guns and mixed with rainbow six siege it's insane i love it if you haven't heard of it you can check it out on my channel as well later today um come on Stuart dallas please oh we could still be come on Stuart. no that's so ass we'll catch you on the flip side peace